Okay, search a 2D matrix. You're given an m by n integer matrix with the following two properties. Each row is sorted in non-decreasing order, and the first integer of each row is greater than the last integer of the previous row. So given an integer target, we need to return true if the target's in the matrix and false otherwise. So we have a matrix like this, and we're looking for three. Clearly it's in the array, and so we would return true. Oof, okay, that was exhausting. So we'll get m is the number of rows, and we'll get n is the number of columns. And since I'm a noob programmer, I'm going to loop through over all of the indices in the array. That's going to be big O of t, where t is the number of elements. If the target is found, we can return true. If we escape all of this, we can return false. Okay, that should work. Uh, a little slow, but I don't know how to do any better. All right, I'm a diehard sports fan, and wow, what is this? No, I can do a binary search way faster than this. We'll get our two pointers, L at the beginning and R at the end, and we'll set up a pretty traditional binary search with our midpoint. Now, the trick is to get I and J, where I is our middle integer division by N, and J is our middle modulo N. Now, we can do those three common binary search checks. If it's matching, then we return true. If the target is left of the midpoint, you would need to set R equal to your midpoint minus one. Otherwise, you need to set L to your mid plus one. If your loop terminates, you would simply just return false and boom, let's go.